In this video guys, I'm going to show you how to properly join a princess dark bustier. So this is my princess dart um, bustier, although I've not joined it. These are the pieces for the front part and I'm just showing you the places that I padded. Okay, so this I padded it with my gum stay and my wedding. Okay, so this is what we have going on here. Now that's my under bust point. That point is my nipple point. You want to make sure you highlight it either with your pencil, your biro or your tailor's chalk. Okay, so nipple point, the one under is my under bust point. Now you see that seam allowance, that the allowance you added to join the bust here, you're going to mark it out. Okay, so which is what I did here. I went ahead to mark out my sewing allowance on the center front and also on the side front i used my rulers as well so i make sure i'm precise now the next thing i went ahead to do was i flipped the center front and i placed the side front i made sure it aligned properly to the nipple point that's the mark of the nipple point and the under bust point i made sure it aligned you can see and I made sure I aligned there and I secured it with a pin. See guys, some people join their bustiers without pins. But me, I do you stitch a dress. I make sure I pin because that is the only way I can get it right. So I put some pins under my under bust point and also on the nipple point. And I went ahead to sew. Now, you want to do this, especially if you are just starting out or as a beginner, you want to do this as slowly and as carefully as possible, which is what I did here. Now, when you get to that nipple point, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to raise your presser foot up. You're going to make sure your needle is still inside. You put it down and you continue sewing, okay? So, which is what I did here. And when I got to the end, I just did a back stitch. Then I went ahead to join the other side of the bust here as well. So I went ahead to join the other on the, the other side of the bust here as well. And I did same thing I did for the first side on this side as well. Now I I after joining, okay, I went ahead to slash the sewing allowance. Like I told you, I took three quarter of an inch. And you don't really have to take this much okay so after um, slitting the sewing allowance I went ahead to you know reinforce my stitches again now you see this my three quarter of an inch seam allowance I also trimmed it down okay sometimes I like to leave excess allowance for my princess that bust here you don't have to do that you can do half an inch that also works as well because I also went ahead to trim it down to I have about half an inch there okay then I took it over to my ironing table and I gave it a good press now if you have this extra says in your armhole you guys you can just cut it out but make sure you don't eat so much into the armhole curve okay you can just cut it out the reason for that is so that it will you will not have like shortage so i always like to have like excess around that point so after cutting it out this is what the bustier looks like this is what the back part of the bustier looks like and um, this is what the front part looks like you can see it is standing it looks good put together it looks beautiful if you enjoyed this video and you've watched up to this point make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share if you're watching on facebook share like follow my page and i'll see you in my next video bye guys